now uh, by Raman and Josh and just have a little discussion of what was just presented. Any thoughts, comments, ideas? A little um, just my question. Um, well, I think uh, a bunch of stuff stood out to me. Um, this really resonates. I love this model. Uh, and one thing I keep coming back to is, is community. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I know in my personal experience um, in this body, in this lifetime, mm -hmm. I go through cycles of remembering and forgetting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is stuff like this, like remembering where I'm from, the about the unit, and the universe, right? And then I'll go through periods of forgetting, yeah. right? But I think for me, that community is so important as coming together and remembering. Yeah. So what's right. meaningful here would be to recognize what it is that's going on that leads to forgetting or that right. opens right. up the forgetting. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And it's pretty much 100% of the time we can trace it back to some of the stuff in paradigm one, mm. um, you know, the, the, the thinking, the kind of, you know, isolated me only. Yeah. Right. Um, it's interesting how my sense of self will expand in my darkest moments. Mm. Uh -huh. right? Yes. So that's like the big bang. Yeah. yeah. In the Antiodromia, you go into the dark moment and you can only go so far and it's got to go somewhere else. Right. Exactly. And they can come back up and expand the consciousness. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You? Also, I think for me, the same thing that community not only includes humans, but plants and animals and, yes. you know, just everything that we're surrounded by, we're always connected, you know? Right. Um, and it also kind of reminds me of uh, a conversation we've had, which we've spoken about, like, you know, I'm always like comparing myself to the sun sometimes. And mm -hmm. then, you said, well, you are the sun, yeah. but in your own human frequency. And so, yeah, it really helps me connect with the different elements in the universe and right. know yeah. that I am that, you right. know, yes. and that any difficult emotion or feelings that I'm going through, they're all just informing me to go deeper into community and resonance and yes. order. So, um, yeah, this all deeply resonates and and right. helps me in so many ways, yeah. Yeah, so the way you said that, Robin, reminds me that these feelings here are helping to sculpt us mm. into being our maximum potential in terms of right. conscious beings reflecting the intelligent order of the universe. Mm -hmm. Right, so yeah. the thing is, are we willing to be sculpted? Yeah. Are we, are we willing to be pummeled mm -hmm. with these feelings in order to get it clear in our minds, who we really are, mm. yeah. right? Now, we can ask this question, did you create those bodies that you're in? It's my no. 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 no, I didn't create mine. <laughs> did you yeah. buy it anywhere? Um, no. No, I didn't buy mine anywhere? Yeah. Therefore, it's not my body, it's not your body, it's body. Right. Mm. Whose body? It is the universe. Mm. So can we surrender, relax into Right. The, the intelligent order of the universe which birthed us and sustains us and let that inform right. as to what a right mm -hmm. response or action is. Mm, absolutely. Well, I, I also, my mind goes to the gift of suffering, like intense suffering, yes. and how that can really be an opening into some of this stuff. Right, yes. Um, That's its function, it, yes. It, it really, it, it almost forces us to kind of face the, these things mm -hmm. right right whether we like it or not it, right. it's kind of like here yeah right and you know how it can be such a gateway such a portal to growth to awareness to really yes. feeling these some of these things we're mm -hmm. we're talking about and right. you know i think it it takes what it takes but yeah. you know um I, I i think about that often and the people I work with too, who go through a lot mm -hmm. of suffering, mm -hmm. painful experiences in, in life. Mm -hmm. What's the point of this, True. right? Is this fair? Is this unfair, right? Yeah. yeah, and whenever people are asking, or we ask ourselves those rhetorical questions, mm -hmm. you know, basically the question is saying it's not fair. Yeah. 
-hmm. But when you take that question and treat it as a legitimate question, yeah. is this fair? No, it's not. Okay, so now what do I do with that? Mm -hmm. Right. Do I just stay in a conclusion this isn't fair, or do I say, now what do I do? Right. right. Now where does life invite me? Where does it open? Right. Mm -hmm. So, right, so the suffering, mm. as you're saying, is a, is a gift. It's mm. a gift from the universe to get our, our stories, our internal stories, aligned with truth, fact, and reality. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. And then that's when the happiness comes. And some people protest this word happiness because they're not working with this definition, freedom from internal conflict. Right. Mm. But some people prefer the word peace. Yeah. So we could use that as a synonym. Right. Um, no, we'll just leave it there. I was going to go off on a tangent. Yeah. And I think just culturally, like happiness in context of our culture is interesting because it can, I think, happiness and pleasure can get kind of conflated yeah. or convoluted. Exactly. And then I always think of that Beatles lyric happiness is a warm gun, mm. right? Which kind of points to more of the pleasure. Yeah, that's the pleasure. Interpretation. Confusing happiness and pleasure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Yeah, so that would be the pleasure of feeling powerful. Yeah. Mm. These are seductive. Right. No problem with it unless it's used to cover this. Right. Mm. Which is most often it is, yeah. the case. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, thank okay. you so much, Dr. V. This is such a beautiful model. Oh, sure. Yeah, this is uh, this is fun. Mm. Yeah. Well, this came out of 50 years of working with people, reading, yeah. and learning from others in the field, mm -hmm. learning from just like us, just talking. Right. And, and one right. day it goes, boom, that clicks. And <laughs> it's like a playbook, you know, yeah. playbook for... How to be. Yeah, yeah, how to be and how to, to, to live a happy life. Right. I, I want to go back to that thing that when I was you know I was saying freedom from internal conflict, order brings it order. When we have order in our, our lives, we can say we're happy. So yeah. I, I want the two of you to test that out. Mm. To just see how that is for you experientially. Yeah. If you have a state of order in your mind where there's no disorder, there's no internal conflict, mm. what do you sense? You're just using your imagination. It's harmony. Harmony. Mm -hmm. Wholeness. And wholeness. Yeah, my, I kind of go towards lightness and spaciousness. Yeah. Lightness and spaciousness, yes. Yeah, um, yeah. So those would all be cousins of happiness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same light and spaciousness. Because I think of, of um, order as sort of a, a, a flow. Right, and I think of mm. disorder as some element of friction. Yeah. Uh, where the fr and the friction, you can feel that it can be heaviness, stuckness. Um, yeah, it can kind of wear you down yeah. a, a little bit. That friction, that that disorder. Mm -hmm. Yes, it'll wear you down. Eventually, bring you to your knees until you go underneath. And look at that. See what's underneath. What right. isn't being lived. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, a very important statement. Every negative is negative because of a positive mm -hmm. underneath that is waiting mm -hmm. to be acknowledged, expressed, or lived. Right. So there's three points. Acknowledgement, sometimes I just need to see it, and then it's mm -hmm. done. Sometimes I have to express what I see, mm -hmm. and then it's done. Sometimes I have to change what I'm doing in my life mm -hmm. to live yeah. it differently. Right. Exactly. Right. So sometimes it's very simple. Sometimes it's interactive. Sometimes it requires a major life shift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this definition, freedom from internal conflict. Yeah. It explains a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's why you can be sad and happy at the same time. You yeah. could be frightened yeah. and happy at the same time. Yeah. When you understand what this frightened is trying to get you to see. Mm -hmm. So one thing it might be getting me to see is I don't have enough confidence in myself. Right. Mm -hmm. So then what do I need to do to address that issue? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can use some cognitive behavioral things to try to shift it yeah. and move it, which is fine. If that doesn't work, then I might need to go into some analytic aspects or dynamic aspects mm -hmm. and find who the story writer is underneath and help that person out. 
who does all that <laughs> work <laughs> to find who the story writer in this one is. Yes. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, well, there's a basketball game. <laughs> yeah. I know, big deal, Celtics, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, Dr. V. Thank you. This thank is you. a yes. blessing, yes, yeah. and I'm sure it's going to impact a lot of kids. So. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I want people yeah. to really give some thought to this and try it out. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. Me. See you next time. Next time would be consciousness exercise. Uh, similar to guided meditation, uh, it's attending to sound happening and then attending to thinking happening so that we can get to a state of witnessing consciousness and realize that is more who we are than all of the thoughts, the feelings, and the body sensations. So, see you next time.